Good morning to you, Lou Turner here. I want to share like some Dorian thoughts with you. And uh, the National Hurricane Center is who puts out the cones, right? So we get a, a composite of computer model runs and generally speaking, and, and, and professional you know, forecasters there as well. I mean, it's really experienced meteorologists putting their two cents in to create the cones. And, but there are shifts that can happen. Now, when a big shift happens from a southerly uh, landfall to something more northerly, they're not just going to all of a sudden take that cone and shift it, say, from a focus to Miami and the Keys all the way up to the Carolinas. It's going to be a gradual sort of turn. I want to show you what I'm talking about is a northern uh, trend is starting with Dorian and a speed change is starting with Dorian. Now, uh, let's Let's start with this first uh, image as we go all the way back to yesterday at 5 a.m. Notice a landfalling tropical storm um, early and in somewhere in southern Florida, right? So south Florida, that issue. But notice uh, computer models begin to shift. There begins to be more of a northern track, less of an interaction with the islands of the Caribbean. Uh, it, things changing in the atmosphere and you notice now okay so a more northern shift as well slowly but surely this is now the 2 a.m. today run as a category one hurricane in North Florida it's timing slowing down again uh, this would be a Sunday evening and now this moving all the way to this morning's 5 a.m. I want to show you this would be already all the way back to Monday morning and that slow northern trend continuing now it's an ominous look I get it when you see that category two number squared up with northeast Florida, an ominous look. But we got to watch the trend. So the next one will come out uh, 8 o'clock. We'll get an 11 o'clock. Every few hours, uh, things will change. Uh, when things get consistent and consistently stay in that one position, that's when we can develop a little more confidence in our forecast. All of that said, today is the day uh, as we uh, knock off work, run to the store, grab your water, uh, get all those things you're going to need to be ready. All of that information, of course, is on firstcoastnews.com. We'll have more analysis as well, but you'll be able to find the forecast on our website, the very latest from our storm experts. The rest of the stuff is kind of auxiliary to the fact that we just need to be prepared, right? So I hope you have a fantastic day today. We will, uh, you don't worry, we'll do the worrying for you, right? Okay, touch you later.